All right, y'all. Rob Anderson with Clean Power Wash. So it's summertime. Um, it's slow. Um, I know you guys are, you know, if you're not doing a ton of commercial right now or other projects, probably freaking out. Um, or just worry. Uh, I'll be perfectly honest. We're, we're in a slight uh, financial pinch as well um, with the move to the new location. We've had additional expenses and things. Um, I've just sold a whole lot of kitchen equipment and all. And we just finished up a $40,000 commercial project um, and that's a huge blessing but it's also uh, can be super super stressful um, you know doing $40,000 worth of work and now it's the waiting game when will we get paid um, you know and unfortunately with institutional work um, you know working for the state it can take a little bit of time we looked at it last year the it took almost two months to get paid um, so a couple of things with that one you know we all need to prepare July comes just like Christmas comes on the 25th every year uh, you know you got to be ready for July and August you got to know that that's a time that things are going to slow down um, it's going to be tighter um, you know you may have to make some decisions as far as if you've got crews and staffing and stuff um, I know another company near us would run their crews five or six days a week um, during all of April, May, and June, and then in July, they cut everybody down to four days a week so that they could, you know, share the workload, but also have, you know, enjoy their July. Um, and especially when you've got established people that have been with you for years and years, um, and kind of know the way that's going to work out, you know, they can schedule their vacations differently and whatnot. Um, you know, we've been trying to come up with as much additional work. Um, and tasks and things with our move as we could. Um, all that being said, um, I know a lot of times when you get into a pinch like this, um, people will just start to drop their prices like crazy. And I'm not saying to discount your work. Um, I'm sorry, I'm saying discount it, don't drop your price. And what I mean is, if that's a $500 house wash, don't say, hey ma'am, you know, right now, it's July, I'm super desperate, it's $325. do not do that. You're going to be hurting yourself long term because when that client comes back in a year or so, and they want to get their stuff done in the spring, and they're like, what do you mean it's $575 because your prices have gone up? You're like, no, you're, you know, you're horrible, we're not doing that, yada, yada. Um, instead, by having your $500 price and say, you know, say it's a special promo, it's a hundred, hundred dollars off, 20% off for the month of July. Um, they'll see that 500, they'll see the hundred dollar discount. There's a promo offer on it and then that's 400. That's way easier for the client. And they made, Hey, it was $400. Well, now you can explain to them, you know, Hey, Hey Joe, it was $500, that was a regular price. We did, because it was July, we did a $100 off special. It's the only time we do those specials is in July and August. Um, the, um, sorry. Um, you know, it's easier for your office staff to explain that. Well, yeah, we did that special discount then. The normal price would have been 500, that's why you paid 400. Prices have gone up, it's now 550, 575. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. Um, you know, you, you can't, you know, you don't do 25, 30% off. 20% is really, really digging in, but also you get to a point where like, hey, and be honest with your staff, you know, no, we're, we're pretty fully tapped right now. We're trying to sell one of the trucks because we're trying to do that already. Um, you know, we got some more kitchen equipment and things to sell and all, but it's, it's just really doing everything we can to stay busy, um, and keep, keep money coming in however we need to. So hope that helps guys. Again, know that you're not in this boat by yourselves. We're all in it. Um, it's just a slow boat come July and August. Uh, and if you haven't already done it, um, and I think I've shown this previously, you should be tracking month over month, year over year. So you can see those trends and trajectories. Um, also if you're doing Christmas lights, you're worried about money. We just sent out our uh, renewals, so we're collecting deposits right now, which is bringing in some money. Um, you know, and, and guys, 
if you're small, I just want to throw this out there. As you get bigger, payroll becomes bigger. We basically need 10 grand a week to cover payroll. Um, so, you know, when you're looking at it and it's only like, hey, um, you know, we need to do two or 3,000 or, you know, you may have a bigger company. You gotta do 20 grand just to cover payroll. Those are all things, just start setting aside that money earlier too. Um, you know, being this stress right now, we will not be like this next year. We'll have a much smaller overhead. We'll have a smaller, we won't be renovating an entire building. Uh, it'll be a much, much better year next year. So, see ya.